guys welcome to my channel so today I'll be sharing with you some of my back to the office in-person looks so hope you enjoy these are from my closet as usual sustainability matters and please consider these tips as you are heading back into the office for monochromatic looks, or what I jokingly refer to as monotones, because, yeah, I'll touch on that later in this video, I like to break the looks up with a splash of color. For me, my favorite color is, of course, green, number one. Then I also like to add orange or rich burgundies, which you would see as a common theme in this video. Rolling up over black Cadillac High heel boots and a sexy body full of tats Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad After her there ain't no coming back Wanna take a run at that I think she's feeling me, turn it up a few degrees My imagination of her body gets the best of me Oh god she's such a tease, bitten lips, bruised knees I'm addicted to her, need her touching me Cause she got a bad little waist And we tearing down this place Off the liquor that we chase, got some meat to the face, baby, I don't need no space another favorite color of mine it's so complimentary at the same time it's considered a fall color but not for me after a monochromatic look whether you rock all green all red all yellow after a while it starts to get to me because I feel personally it stifles my creativity yes I know it looks chic, it looks classy and odd, that gorgeous stuff, yes, I love me a monochromatic look, but it starts getting to me after a while, it's like, oh my god, everybody's doing that sort of thing these days, everybody knows to do that. So it could get a bit boring, seriously. 
mix it up a little and make fashion exciting as it's designed to be yes let's do that so here i am with my baby blue and my suede skirt and nobody should tell me that you don't rock suede in spring no those rules are not applicable to me i rock my suede whenever even on a cool summer day if i feel like rocking it i will boots too for me yeah while comfort is key it's also fashion for me huh i just rhymed Oh, um, so yeah, this is my look. Office chic vibe. <laughs> Don't you dare tell me that herringbone patterns are not meant for spring either. Yeah. Mm, 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 no. Yes for me. Probably no for you, but you should reconsider. <laughs> Never really notice what you want with you. This is an unexpected color to pair with this particular culotte, but as mentioned it was definitely inspired by the lining have you ever get excited about the lining and find that the lining is often <laughs> better than the actual external fabric i love that but i absolutely love this piece and this pairing the top is one I inherited from my dad. For this look, the belt may not be your thing, but it's definitely mine. I am a true down-to-earth belty, and I do not apologize for it. I belt every single thing, every outfit you could find. Again, the clutch is for that non-traditional, non-corporate if you like kind of setting so i love this look send a string you don't understand the pain of brains you don't ever want to give me wings you don't ever want to set me free you know i'm addicted to you and it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo got me coming back for more even when i've been screwed dolls full of pins pierce my heart straight through Got issues in my head. I like you in my bed, but you keep me on red. Oh, everything is like a test. I better not text or I'll come off desperate. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, maybe you'll get. And I know some people think that black and brown should not be combined ever. Are you kidding me? Do you see how gorgeous and chic this looks? I got me myself another matrix coat because they are timeless and because it was a great deal. Everything that you did, that you said, I don't think you understand what you're doing. And my heart's black and blue from the bruising. I feel like when I'm with you, I'm losing. I feel like you think that this amusing. Sitting there, gaslighting and confusing. Was it me? Is it me? Am I deluded? I'm the one who's always sorry, the conclusion. Even though I offer all of the solutions. I wish you loved me like I love you, it's stupid. When 
I'm alone with you, I never feel lucid. I wish I wasn't struck by Cupid. I wish when I first saw you, I knew this. When I'm with you, I feel so useless.